We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. At small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Damian Lillard out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Lopez in at the five, down low. Just five on the clock. And it's Maxi missing. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Lillard deciding where to go with it. Pass to Lopez. And it's Lopez with the jam. And Lillard right now at that point guard position has total control of the offense. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Bucks. That one in Milwaukee. <laughs> on the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. But the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Now here's Maxi. 26 points for him last game against the Clippers. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Here's Beasley. Pass to Lillard. Lopez, the screen on Maxi. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. Uh, how many times do we see Lillard just change the face of the game from downtown? Here's Maxi. Softly drops in the floater. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Lillard. 20 points for him last game against New Orleans. Well, he's passing another high point in that game. He made sure it wasn't all about him. He wanted to get his teammates involved. Maxi against Lillard. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer. That's good signs. Now here's Beasley. His last outing, he had 20. It's hauled in by Oubre. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. And rising up off the ground. Lopez, the screen on Harris. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Lopez. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Lopez has got his second bucket on the night. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Lillard against Maxi. Embiid, a screen on Lillard. For three, Maxi. Rebounded by the Bucks. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. Unbelievable B.A., the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. You know, after all these years, Brent, is it possible that Brooke Lopez is still getting better? Yeah, this guy is going to be the study BA of some research papers. And some changes here for the 76ers. Melton comes in for Oubre, and it's Kyle Lowry in for Tyrese Maxey. There's 57 seconds left in the opening quarter. Lowry with it. He's picked up by Lillard from deep Melton. And that comes off the 
the assist by Lowry. Well, Lowry sees the breakdown, and then he knows the guy is going to be open. What a delivery that was. And it's Lillard with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by four. Portis with a screen on heel. Here's Middleton. Goes back up. Portis shot is off. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Lowry, the pass to Harris. Back to Lowry. Floats one. Some solid defense from Lillard. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looks like plenty of room. Middleton finds Portis. Here's Lillard. There's the triple. Beverly for three. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. Just a big-time effort for Damian Lillard, providing a lot of energy for the Bucks. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you, stat-wise? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. Milwaukee in the lead. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. Nicholas Batum out there with DeAnthony Melton. Then it's Maxi, then it's Kyle Lowry, and it's Reed in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul of the game. Beasley's checked in for Crowder. Number five, Malik Beasley. Melton against Middleton. Batum with a screen on Middleton. Here's Melton. Four on the clock. Batum. Three-pointer off the mark. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Kept alive. The Sixers trailing and keeping us updated from the sideline. Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does everything. His teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. Special talent, Allie, and a special person. Thanks for that. So it's Milwaukee now. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist by Beasley. Middleton's got his first basket. Well, the find from the off guard Beasley there would like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. Pass to Reed. Back to Maxi. 18 feet out. He squares up and sinks it. Maxi's gotten his second bucket. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And then Portis with the dunk. And bigs like Portis can get up and make those dunks look sweet. For Philadelphia, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Lowry, the pass to Maxi. Maxi on the wing. And there's the screen. Some solid D from Beasley. Milwaukee has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. From the arc. And the three-pointer goes. And now a nine-point Milwaukee lead. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, VA, your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Now here's Lowry. Still no points. He 
drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Lowry willing to sacrifice his body and get Martin. into the fight. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Embiid, he's checked in for Reed. Tobias Harris comes in for Batum. Oubre, he's checked in for Melton. And Heald is subbed in for Lowry. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. Lillard with the ball. Nine points in the game. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Lillard's got 11 points. Well, off the bounce, we know he's good, but off of the kickouts, he can still get it done. That one rings true. Maxey passes to Harris. Oh, stolen by Lillard. In transition, here come the Bucks. And Dame Dalla completing the break. Good hands by Lillard. You cannot get lazy or he'll pick your pocket and go the other way. Kind of amazing that Lillard wasn't a big-time prospect at a high school print. Well, size had a lot to do with that, B.A., and then Damian Lillard, it's, it's hard to scout Will, and he certainly has loads of that. Not many guys have a feel for the game like Dame does. And here's Beasley. Portis with a screen on Maxi. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And the box hit again from deep. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Here's Embiid. No stopping Joel Embiid. Wow. Well, healed right there on the yield, waiting for someone to get open. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. Over Maxi. Lillard can't get it to go. The 76ers have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Heald passes to Harris. Buries it from three. Harris has got his second basket on the night. When you look at combo forwards that can help you provide some spacing out there, Harris right now spotting up and hitting. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now on to Kumpo. 35 points for him. Last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Out to Lillard. Fires from deep. Lillard can't get that one to fall. And so it's Milwaukee closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Malik Beasley is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Lopez in at the center position. As Giannis has grown in his physical stature, widening those shoulders, having more strength, these are the kind of plays that make all that hard work pay off. Now here's Embiid. Fader on the way. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Even though they're still trailing, he continues to be lights out from the field. What a competitor. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Maxi passes to Embiid. Beasley against Heald. Now here's Embiid. Not a lot of room. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. That free throw misses. Well, Brent, one area of the floor where the Bucks really shine is on defense. Yeah, no question. This defense is one that just smothers you, and if you're not ready for it, 
you know, they can come at you defensively in waves. They don't let you rebound. They pressure shooters. And they're going to make you work for every bucket. But he sinks the second. They're one of the most well-rounded players in the game. Embiid is also a top-notch trash talker, too. I mean, he knows how to get under the skin of his opponents. To the left side wing. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, Damian Lillard embraces the big moments. He said, quote, I don't know why. I just do it. It's internal. I'm always talking to myself like, quote, I have to find a way. This is an opportunity to rise and to come up big. You've got to get it going. It's a real thing. You just demand that something extra of yourself. Brian? Thank you, Alley. Dame time is fit. The feed! The jam! Giannis! Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. Maxi against Lillard. Pass to Embiid. Oubre on the wing. Shot from the top of the key. And it's healed, missing. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Lillard finds Beasley. Let's it go from 11, and it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Beasley. Lopez has got eight points. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Now here's Embiid. He's got 11. Shoots over Lopez. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo has got four rebounds now. Pass to Lopez. Middleton outside. Honor to Kumpo against Ubre. Clock at six. Oh, ho, ho. don't let Giannis in. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Heel passes to Embiid. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Back to heel. Pass to Embiid. Rejected by Lopez. Well, Lopez has size and great instincts. That makes him a threat to knock shots away like that. And the 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Beverly, he's checked in for Beasley. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia... One shot. The free throw drops for Embiid. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. Maxi against Lillard. Shoots over Maxi. Oh, great work by Lillard in the paint. Wow, they're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Pass to Oubre. Embiid against Lopez. The kick out to Maxi. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Maxi's got 10 points. Yeah, the passing has only gotten better from Embiid. It adds a huge element to his game. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got five rebounds in the game. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Beverly against Melton. Shot clock at five. Here's Embiid. Again, Philadelphia. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. And here's Ana de Kumpo. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Oh, and the dunk by Ana de Kumpo. 
I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. The third quarter comes to a close. Bucks ahead, leading by seven. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dive. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. Philadelphia has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. They've got Kenyon Martin. Paul Reed is out there with Nicholas Batum. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Milwaukee has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Lillard. The three is up. And Reed pulls it down. The Sixers trailing. Melton outside. Now here's Martin. Back to Lowry. Martin with a screen on Lillard. Takes the three. Counted from distance. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. And the Bucks shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. Pass to Gallinari. Here's Portis. Lillard outside. Out to Beasley. From deep. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got three assists in the game. And he's going for the lob. Crowder with a steal. Lillard against Lowry. 14 feet away. Again, Milwaukee. Time out, time out. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. And Philadelphia calls time here. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. He told his guys to up their aggressiveness on the defensive end, saying this game is all about who can get stopped right now. I need you guys to bring some more energy on defense. That's how we'll get this win. Guys? Thanks for that, Allie. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. That's his first personal foul. Foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Tyrese Maxey. One shot. Maxey, no good on the free throw. Milwaukee has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Lillard can't get it to go. Philadelphia has gone 1 of 2 from deep in this quarter. Oubre passes to Maxey. Here's Embiid. Shot from the low post is good. Well, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. He doesn't make a mistake that time. Beasley, pass to Lillard. Top of the key. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and it seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Maxi against Lillard. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Maxi. And the 76ers tack on two more. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you 
go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Maxi against Lillard. Lopez is screen on Maxi. Now here's Lillard, tightly guarded. Here's on it Kumpo. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Bucks. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. That one misses for Anadokounmpo. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. With his first shot attempt, Giannis Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Lillard, a screen on Harris. Against contact, Giannis stay strong. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it a... Five left in the fourth quarter. Embiid passes to Maxi. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific group right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Lopez, the screen on Harris. Honor to Kumpo with it. Picked up by Embiid. Good on the shot. You've got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Over to the left wing. Here's Embiid. Count it. Excellent focus there from Embiid. Just pushes past the contact. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Anadokounmpo up top, pounded by Harris, and the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there, misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And Philadelphia gets called for the foul. At the line for the Bucks, Damian Lillard. At the line for one. Free throw good, Lillard. Breathe easy now, the biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. And so Lowry will bring it up for Philadelphia. They trail by 11. Pass to Reed. Lays it up and in, despite excellent defense. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. And so it's Milwaukee with the W. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special.